I even went to the trouble of saving you time by cutting that out. Aren't you proud of me? I hope you are. You sexy folks, you. Heh. <laughs> Man, you are good looking today. I love you. No, I don't. Let's go. <laughs> so, basement four. Um, let's go east and go all the way to the end. Just, no, that is, God, do you see what I mean with these doors? Fucking, get off my dick. So, uh, go inside here. It's a little creepy. There's a cave in this guy's wardrobe. No, uh, too bad there's no Narnia in there. And I think that's it. So now we return to the main room. I think, uh, I, w I'd I wonder if this guy t shows it. Let's try going this way. Nothing? Nope. Okay. Um, there, there's a, there's a cameo in this dungeon. I kind of want to show it off since we're doing all this stuff. So I just wanted to make sure, but I don't think it's on this floor. So we want to go to the west and go to the very end. Hey, look, I'm hungry. Um, if we check this, there's a lens right here. Um, also, I do know that I uh, haven't, I didn't go back to the guy in uh, Shambard to be like, hey, here's the lens I got and whatever. But we will be back in um, Inferia in due time, so you don't really have to worry about it. Anyway, go in here. God, this this floor in particular is kind of weird. Like, you have the wardrobe thing, and then you have food right there and stuff. But toy ducks in there. So we're all done on this floor. This floor is like nothing. They were like, "Oh, you need a break? Okay, fine. We'll be nice. Thanks, Hideo Baba. He designed this. He designed the dungeon. I know it. Fuck him. I love him." <laughs> And if you ever need to, by the way, uh, feel free to go down to the very bottom and heal. Like, if you're hurt or anything. They really, like, let you heal any time. And you can just go straight down and come ba right back up. So it's really good. You might as well if you are ever hurt. So you shouldn't really feel in too much danger in this dungeon. Especially when you get money from the enemies and can buy life bottles and stuff. We're almost done here, though. Surprisingly, we're in basement 3. So, let's go west. And we're gonna go through here. Oh man, there's a moving floor back there. Oh man, we found the toy duck spring already. Cool. And then, uh... Okay. So, go through here. And, uh, two items. Get the pine gel and a blue talisman. 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 <laughs> And then go over here. There's a statue and a switch. You want to go ahead and push this... Fuck. Give me a minute. No, no, no. Why would you put this at an angle? No. No. Fucking... Ugh. No. Okay, okay. Down. Down. No, 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 no. Just read. Just move it. Move. Fuck. Read. <laughs> is it on? It's on. Okay. Okay. Sorry to sorry to do that to you guys. <laughs> that, is, that is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> okay. So we want to go down, and now we want to push this duty bob. Okay. Okay. Can you can you fucking? Okay. Thank you. We want to grab him, and we'll, we want to push him on the conveyor belt. If I can. Like, I'm I'm not even letting go of the button, and it's like, oh, well, I guess you wanted to let go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You. <laughs> Thank you for putting him back, because I was so mad for a second. This is the hardest thing in the game. I can't move. Okay. Yeah, bitch! Okay, so you had to use him as a little thing. That's a Camara. That's scary. Ah, <sighs> okay, cool. Done with that. 
So yeah, that's the only way you can get that toy duck. You need to be able to move that statue onto the thing. And I know it's a real bitch. Like, the whole thing about this dungeon is, like, why the fuck is it on angle? You don't need to put it on, put it on an angle for me to, like, get the same experience. I, I don't need this angular bullshit experience. Oh my god. I'm, I, a new enemy. <laughs> I don't need this dungeon on an, on a fucking angle though. Like it's so annoying. Do you see how good this is? Like when I have a guide though. Like if I didn't get this guide out, this probably would have taken me an hour. I mean, some of it's pretty simple, regardless. But. With this guide, I feel like I am 10,000 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know, it, it helps a lot. I feel bad using it, because I don't like using guides and let's plays and stuff. I don't like doing stuff like that. But, you know, sometimes I gotta do it. So, basement 2, we're almost done. We got two more to go. Go east. We want to go to the very end. And, oh yeah, here's the cameo! Um, right on the wall, that's Stan from Destiny. Tales of Destiny. Uh, this is the first game in- or, I'm sorry, first. This is the third game of the series, so the only real ones they can work off of is Fantasia and Destiny. So, you're gonna see some Destiny references. Whoa. I'm sorry, Stan. <laughs> Oh, okay, you actually want to do this, so... You want to move it six times, so it's facing west. And now we want to go back to uh, this door. And we're going to see a Nord cameo in a minute. Yeah, there she is. It's Philia from Destiny. I don't think there's any Fantasia references in here. I think they're all Destiny. Just uh, putting on our holy bottle, just so I feel good inside. Yeah, here's Philia. Destiny is like not one of my favorites, honestly. So we want to make this face south. Oh, poor Philia. I feel bad for her. If I got to play the PS2 version of Destiny, I feel like I would like it a lot more. Because I don't like the PS1 version of Destiny. Like, I, I really don't like it too much. There's a lot of bullshit. So anyway, with that done, we can grab that chest in a second. So that fight took about a minute because, uh... Fuck, I hate that encounter so much. When there's two pink guys and all they do is shoot you, while the green guys come up and fuck your ass open, that sucks. Like, you cannot move at all. It's the same encounter as the... the when we first arrived here, and I'm like, fuck this encounter so much. Because you die instantly. It's so bullshit. Like, it's not fair at all. Anyway, we get the Emerald Ring here. Emerald Ring's super good. So, uh, reduces TP consumption by one third. Really good shit. I'm gonna put it on... Oh, he has one already. I'm gonna put it on Merity. <laughs> so now our... Both our casters have that. So now, we can return to the main room. I really do like the uh, cameos they start putting in, because this is the third game in the series, and it's like, they don't have to put in cameos right now, but they do. It's cool. So go to the room at the very end, there's a spring right here, and there's Rudy! From, uh, Inter Eternia. Destiny! <laughs> She's, uh, the main girl. So we need to move her two times. And then we get a little ding a ling a ling Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, sorry, give me a second, I'll explain what happened. So you do have to actually do this. I thought this might be for an item or something. But I'll tell you in a second. Alrighty, welcome back! <laughs> Um, those painting, the painting things, I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to know that, but
but you need to do it because if you don't, if you get the um, the duck in the spring, you can put it here, but the switch will not be there. So the only way you're going to have the switch at the end is if you do the correct order for the paintings. So make sure you do that. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? Maybe there's a thing you can read in here or something. I don't fucking know. I'm out of here. I don't care. See, that would have taken me like 10 years. Like straight up literally 10 years. We're on the final level though. Let's try and get through this as fast as possible. <laughs> okay, let's go east. Let's go west. <laughs> so, oh, fuck this. I read it, I read it, and then I looked over and I'm like, fuck that. Look at that big piece of bread. <laughs> Where'd you get a loaf that big? Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, God, this is much. Okay, so we want to move the barrels out of the way. I'm already... Okay, move that back. Can you go that way? Thank you. Okay, we want to move this. Yeah, just move that right there. Oh, perfect. This wasn't that bad. So we get the toy duck there. I started using the D-pad because I wanted to make sure I got everything correctly. So, uh, we want to check the box next to the bread. Right here. Yeah, we found a lens. Cool. Okay, cool. So we're done on this side. Now we just gotta, if I can fucking get out of here. <laughs> now we just gotta do the air side. So we go through the last door, right here. Um, there's a little thing here. It's like, hey, 4,000 gold, yay, even though I have like 100,000. <laughs> but you know, never. it always helps, so. So now we wanna go through this door, and there's a bunch of stuff here. Looks like Keel's kind of room. Ah. <sighs> Oh, are we gonna have to do a- oh, whoops. <laughs> are we gonna have to do a Kingdom Hearts puzzle? So pick up the books. And then, um... I have the red one. Oh. Yeah, right there. There's, uh, there was red books between the blue books, if you didn't see it. Make sure you get those. And then we just put all the books back. Now luckily you don't have to manually put it in. You can just talk to the bookcases. There we go. That's it. And here's a spring. We're all done. Thank the fucking lord. Ah, oh, man. It just feels so good to be done with this dungeon. Thank god. I might as well save. I mean, it's not like a, a boss is going to appear or anything, so, you know, it's nothing to worry about or anything, but you might as well save. You know, a job well done. Ah. <sighs> nothing could go wrong now. Let's get this duck in here. Oh! Bye! Bye! <laughs> Dude, that guy looks fucking rad as hell, though. You look at that guy, man. He's so cool. Look at how awesome this boss looks. Get out of the way, basement level one. So cool. It looks like you're fighting a fucking Xenogears enemy. Let's go, bitch. So we have the Guardian here. God, he looks so cool. That sword is just awesome. Uh, I don't think he's that Neo tough. I'm just gonna be using uh, thrust attacks because I'm working on thrust right now. But you can command uh, Merity and Kiel to do stuff if you want. Especially when their vitality for the summon spirits are maxed. 
go ahead and use uh, them to cast cast the uh, summon spirits. Oh Jesus, he's definitely no gnome though. Like gnome was a bitch, but this guy is pretty not bad. But he does have some big attacks, like the he moves around a lot, as you can see, and um. He, he can pretty much do a Getsuga Tensho on your ass. God. Remember when Bleach was good? <laughs> oh my god. Get my butt kicked. Uh, lightning attacks, as you can see, don't really work on him. But it's a pretty simple boss. He just has a lot of HP. I'm gonna go ahead and use a, um, spectacles on him. Got 10,000 left out of 30. It's not bad. Heal! Thanks, Keel. God, you really like moving. I need to heal. I need to get... Oops, no. Let's just throw a melange at Keel. So he has a lot of TP again. We need Keel to stay up in TP because if I don't have a healer, I'm gonna get my ass kicked and I don't wanna die. God, you piece of shit, stop moving. Merity, are you even doing anything? Are you just like not doing anything at all? Merity, fucking no. Merity. Corruption. That's all you gotta do. It's not a hard thing. Like, get some damage in. Look at Keel. Fall Keel. Keel's like. Keel knows what he's doing. I'll help you out, okay? Matt TP. Ah, there we go. We Did level up for everyone, and a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, not hard boss. It was pretty easy. You just gotta get that damage in and keep uh, wailing on him. He's definitely no gnome, who's like too fast, too furious. So, we're done! Thank the fucking lord! We are all done with this place. Oh, god. Alright. The exit? Well done! You all passed the test. You must be strong and wise, as well as a little bit lucky to have made it past all of Eifried's traps safely. Who are you, boy? Is this annoying house yours? My name is Chat. I'm a descendant of the great and honorable pirate, Eifried. Besides, considering my sex, Boy is hardly the appropriate expression. A descendant of Eifried? <laughs> You're a girl? Hmm. I will forgive your rude manners this once and allow you to join me as deckhands. You expect us to play pirates and dig for treasure in your backyard? Come on. This is a waste of time. Ooh, burn! if it were in my backyard. Unfortunately, the legacy of Eifried is scattered throughout the world. That's why I need a crew for my ship. A ship? You've got a ship? Show us! I'm afraid I can only show it to you if you agree to become my deckhands. Hey, what do we do? Do we listen to the kid? Do we have a choice? With a ship, we can cross the sea. We can even go to Peruti. The legacy of Eifried. It is one of the seven treasures of Celestia. But we've got no spare time for treasure hunting. It's okay. Once we have the ship, we'll be able to seize the initiative. You're pretty wicked. Well, will you be my deckhands? Uh, 
Well, give us a minute to think. No problem. It would be painful for anybody to swallow their pride and work for someone younger. I'll be waiting in the reception room. Give it a thought, and then let me know what you've decided. So there's really no thinking here. We kind of got to be your deckhands. <sighs> it's really the only way. So we get a ship. So pretty much all you have to do is, like, once you get uh, control, just go talk to her. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to go do. Hey, little lady. That was surprisingly fast. Now, let me ask you. Will you become my deckhands? Sure, fine. Sure, we'll be your subordinates. So hurry up and show us the ship. Correction, please. Not subordinates, but deckhands. And you will address me as captain. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> me and Reed, we're on, we're on point! I said that before him. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Just in case you thought that I was the timing is off, I that was just a a cool thing that happened. The correct response is aye aye, Captain. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> That's a bit old fashioned, don't you think? I would prefer that you call it traditional. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, grr. Grr. <laughs> now then, since you seem to have all cut your breath, let's go to the ship. Yeah. I mean, aye aye, Captain! Aye aye, Captain! Aye aye, Captain! Okay, let's go. <laughs> and down we go. I see. The whole house is rigged. I made it myself. Amazing! We got a new girl now, so it's time to add to my one girl voice. But not gonna add anything at all. Holy shit! I made it myself! Okay, you don't need to say it twice. Wow, Captain. Impressive. It's no big deal. Now, this way, please. And down. Down we go. We're just heading down. Let's go, Quickie. Quickie! Quickie's happy. Ifried's transformation talk. So, uh, before we continue, that's like a really cool thing about this game. It's like, we have a descendant of Ifried here. Like, I free some like always a mystery in every game. It's I don't know. It's a cool thing. Wow, I can't see anything. It's cold. Please calm down. How beautiful. This is Van El Eltia. Van Eltia. Gotta make sure I say that right. Van Eltia is Celestian word for wealth. It's been told that my great grandfather Ifried used the ship to wreak havoc all over the world. I never got to meet my great grandfather, but his ship, the Van Eltia, has always been with me. That's why the Van Eltia is like a great grandfather to me. In proof of my heritage. I wish you would listen to what the captain has to say. Can you show us the inside of the ship now? Did you really understand what I just told you? I know, I know. Your great-grandfather ruthlessly stole treasures all around the world, right? 
Wrong! Ifree never took anything from the poor. The truth is he gave things to them. He was a generous pirate? Yes, precisely. Now, let's take a look inside the ship. Yeah, cool, we get our own ship! It must be that way. So yeah, we get a little chance to walk right here. The ship's cool. The ship's cool. Um, but one thing, before we uh, head up and talk to her. We can go back outside, and if we look in the uh, northeast corner, I don't know exactly where. Wow, this is amazing! I didn't know that Celestines had the technology to build such a large and complex system like this. On top of that, it looks as though this device has been around for some time. Has their opinion of Celestia changed? I I've always thought highly of Celestian technology. Okay. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Maybe in here? There's a really good item. I just need to find it. Oh, here it is, and all the vibe. Make sure you get that, because it's really good. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and head back in, and we'll go talk to. Did she say her name? Her name's Chat. You're gonna find out in like five seconds if she hasn't. So. This is, or this has an even bigger Kramel engine than the one on the Kramel Express. Yeah, she did say her name. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a 43 model, 12 cylinder, horizontally aligned Kramel engine designed by the legendary Kramel mage Maxton. That's a mouthful. <laughs> 8,000 Zax maximum revolutions. With the supercharger, it kicks out a peak torque of 28,000 S! I don't know why I got so excited reading that! <laughs> Not only does it have power, its elegant design is nothing short of perfection. Machines are beautiful. She's a bit weird. She might be a little too obsessed with machines. So, when can we set sail? Oh, that's right. This way, please. So, oh my god, I can't wait. Let's go! There's gonna be some cool stuff in a second. Hey, chat. So let's depart. Engage Kramel engines. 